Welcome back to Bulldog Audits News. Today we've got some exciting updates for you. Get ready because a powerful new weapon is about to make its way to Ukraine. And it's none other than the ground-launched small diameter bomb, GLSDB. According to a US defense official, the GLSDB is a game changer. It's a 250 pound class weapon with the capability to hit targets over 90 miles away. But what sets it apart is its incredible accuracy. It can strike within just one meter of its target. And here's the kicker. Unlike other long-range missile systems, the GLSDB comes at a significantly lower price. Think of the GLSDB as the Goldilocks missile. It's just right. It gives the Ukrainians greater reach and standoff capability, all while being more cost-effective and available in larger quantities. But why is the GLSDB such a big deal? Well, for starters, it's a precision-guided weapon that attaches to an M26 rocket. While the US already had an air-launched version, it needed to test the ground-launched version before sending it to Ukraine. What's innovative about this munition is that it takes something the US has in abundance, the small-diameter bomb, and straps a rocket motor to the back of it, this allows it to be fired from standard rocket launchers like the M270 MLRS and the HIMARS, both of which have already been supplied to Ukraine by the US. And here's where it gets really interesting. The flexibility of the GLSDB means that those using it can keep their enemies guessing. The Russians won't know if a launcher has GLSDB, GMLRS, or attack M which adds an element of uncertainty to the battlefield, benefiting the Ukrainians. Plus, with its glide feature, the GLSDB can approach targets from unpredictable angles, making it even harder for adversaries to defend against. So there you have it. The GLSDB is set to revolutionize Ukraine's capabilities on the battlefield. Stay tuned to Bulldog Audits News for more updates on this game-changing weapon and its impact on the ongoing conflict. On December 26, 2023, at 4.58 p.m. GMT, an incident unfolded between Russia and Ukraine, marking a significant escalation in tensions. The event occurred in the Crimean region, specifically at the port of Feodosia, where Ukraine reportedly launched air-launched cruise missiles targeting a substantial Russian landing warship, the Novocherkask. The attack resulted in the damaging of the large landing ship and claimed at least one life. The Russian Defense Ministry, as reported by the Interfax News Agency, asserted that Ukraine was responsible for the assault. The use of air-launched missiles in the strike on the Crimean port raises concerns about the potential consequences of such actions in the already volatile region. The Novocherkask, being a vital component of Russia's military capabilities, is now impaired, further complicating Russia's strategic position in the Black Sea. Ukraine, in response to the accusations, stated that the purpose of the attack was to prevent the Novocherkask from re-entering service. This implies a strategic move to hinder any potential Russian attempts to seize additional Ukrainian territory along the Black Sea coast. The incident not only underscores the ongoing geopolitical tensions between Russia and Ukraine, but also raises questions about the potential ramifications of military engagements in the region. The use of advanced weaponry, such as air-launched cruise missiles, adds a new dimension to the conflict and intensifies concerns about the broader implications for regional stability. As the situation develops, it remains to be seen how both nations and the international community will respond to this latest escalation in the ongoing crisis. Welcome back to Bulldog Audits News. Today, tensions are mounting on NATO's eastern flank as the conflict between Russia and Ukraine enters its second year. The situation on the northern border of Eastern Europe is particularly concerning. 
with fears growing that the conflict could spill over into NATO territory. Poland, a staunch supporter of Ukraine within NATO, is at the forefront of these escalating security concerns. In response to Russia's intensive cruise missile attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure and military targets, Poland has mobilized its airspace and ground air defense systems standing guard against potential missile threats. Recent events have underscored the gravity of the situation. Russian missiles, known for their unpredictability, have veered dangerously close to Polish airspace, raising alarms and prompting swift action from Polish authorities. The Polish army has activated its aviation and ground defense systems with fighter jets intercepting missiles approaching the Ukrainian border. The intensity of long-range aviation activity observed by Russia near Polish airspace has only heightened tensions. Poland's response has been robust, mobilizing fighter jets to protect its skies and bolstering ground defenses along its border with Belarus, a key ally of Russia. This proactive stance from Poland serves as a crucial deterrent against potential aggression and reinforces NATO's commitment to regional stability. However, the situation remains fluid with tensions escalating on the border between Belarus and Poland. As Poland takes decisive measures to safeguard its territory and support Ukraine, the strategic balance in the region hangs in the balance. Stay tuned to Bulldog Audit's news for the latest updates on this evolving situation and its implications for NATO's eastern flank. Welcome back to Bulldog Audit's news. Today, tensions are mounting on NATO's eastern flank as the conflict between Russia and Ukraine enters its second year. The situation on the northern border of Eastern Europe is particularly concerning, with fears growing that the conflict could spill over into NATO territory. Poland, a staunch supporter of Ukraine within NATO, is at the forefront of these escalating security concerns. In response to Russia's intensive cruise missile attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure and military targets, Poland has mobilized its airspace and ground air defense systems standing guard against potential missile threats. Recent events have underscored the gravity of the situation. Russian missiles, known for their unpredictability, have veered dangerously close to Polish airspace, raising alarms and prompting swift action from Polish authorities. The Polish army has activated its aviation and ground defense systems with fighter jets intercepting missiles approaching the Ukrainian border. The intensity of long-range aviation activity observed by Russia near Polish airspace has only heightened tensions. Poland's response has been robust, mobilizing fighter jets to protect its skies and bolstering ground defenses along its border with Belarus, a key ally of Russia. This proactive stance from Poland serves as a crucial deterrent against potential aggression, and reinforces NATO's commitment to regional stability. However, the situation remains fluid, with tensions escalating on the border between Belarus and Poland. As Poland takes decisive measures to safeguard its territory and support Ukraine, the strategic balance in the region hangs in the balance. Stay tuned to Bulldog Audit's news for the latest updates on this evolving situation and its implications for NATO's eastern flank. We're diving into some serious developments on NATO's eastern flank. Poland is making some bold moves and tensions are running high. Picture this. Tanks rumbling, troops mobilizing and a sense of urgency in the air. Why? Because Poland, with its eye on the threat posed by Russia, is stepping up its game. With around 30,000 troops armed to the teeth, with modern tanks and artillery stationed on the border, Warsaw means business. But that's not all. Poland just announced that it's sending even more firepower to the border with Belarus. A battalion of tanks is on the move, adding to the already formidable presence. This move comes amid escalating tensions and signals Poland's unwavering commitment to its security. And boy, has this got the attention of Russia and Belarus. 
They're not exactly thrilled about Poland's show of strength. In fact, they're feeling the pressure. Poland's strategic maneuvers have caught them off guard, and they're scrambling to respond. But Poland isn't backing down. Nope. They're doubling down on their efforts to bolster their defenses. Tanks, troops, and state-of-the-art equipment are being deployed to safeguard their borders and send a clear message. Poland won't be pushed around. And let's talk about that $400,000 barrier Poland's building to keep migrants out. It's not just about border security. It's about sending a message that Poland is ready to defend itself against any threat, whether it's from Russia or elsewhere. But this isn't just about Poland flexing its muscles, it's about NATO solidarity and regional stability. Poland's actions are sending a powerful message to its allies. We've got your back. In these uncertain times, Poland's resilience and determination are more important than ever. As tensions continue to simmer in Eastern Europe, Poland is standing firm, ready to defend its territory and support its allies. So buckle up, folks. Things are heating up on NATO's eastern flank, and Poland is leading the charge. With Poland's strategic moves making waves, the stakes are higher than ever. As a member of NATO and the European Union, Poland's role in shaping security dynamics in the region is pivotal. Since Russia's aggression in Ukraine, Poland has been a beacon of resilience in the face of mounting threats. Its proactive measures in coordination with allies, serve not only to safeguard its own security, but also to bolster the defense of NATO's eastern flank. But the potential spillover of the conflict onto NATO territory demands constant vigilance and adaptation. Poland's comprehensive approach, from increasing border security to enhancing strategic communication and control systems, underscores its commitment to preserving regional stability in this challenging period, Poland's actions aren't just about protecting its borders, they're about upholding the principles of collective defense and standing united against aggression. As tensions continue to escalate, Poland's steadfast resolve remains a cornerstone of security in Eastern Europe. Embark on an enriching adventure with Bulldog Audits News, where every piece of information is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Your decision to join us on this historic journey is a testament to your quest for knowledge. To amplify your engagement, ensure you never miss a beat by subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you not only stay updated with the latest insights, but also become an integral part of our community. The more, the merrier. Spread the excitement further by expressing your appreciation Hit the like button and share this valuable content across your social media landscape. Let's create waves of awareness and curiosity together. Your involvement makes the narrative richer, and we're thrilled to have you on board for what promises to be an exhilarating expedition with Bulldog Audits News. If you have any information you'd like to share with the community, please feel free to do so in the comments below.